Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Day of Snails for the 8th World and another segment of Don't Be Telling My Business. Why are you telling my business? Well, I can, can, and I can, can, and I can, can, and I will. Okay? I don't know why nobody's talking about this, um, but I'm going to talk about it and maybe to get around. Okay? I get around. <laughs> but if anybody that was anybody that sat and watched the horrific scene of Family, Portia's Family Matters, uh, Season 1, Episode 6, which aired last night, uh, Sunday, Child, baby. <sighs> At the end of the filming, and they were rolling to show us what was going to be seen for the next and final episode of Family Portia's Family Matters. I know. Eeyore or Simon or Gabadi, however y'all look at him, honey, he is after Elizabeth or Fum or Lomley women. Alamo Alamli. Anyway, he after a female's wife. Nest a female is Elizabeth's husband. Yes, honey. At the ending of the taping, that what they were showing us that's gonna come up for the last and final scene of Portia Family Values. And hopefully it can go away, be perished and, and, and never uh, resurrect itself again. He told Elizabeth she gonna have to stay out of him and Portia's business. Now, I don't know he said, because uh, I ain't want to relive it. I ain't want to go watch another segment just to get to the very end. But he told her in so many words to stay the fuck out of his business. Stay the fuck out of him and Portia's business. I said, oh, Lord, I, th I, I thought I would fly out my chair and hit the flow because that was funny. Now, Portia always talking about she don't want nobody to be messing with her family. And she was over there throwing plates and knives and dishes and microphone stands. And anything she can get her hands on at the time when she was trying to clock Dennis and knock the, him the hell out. Okay, on last night's show. Which I think it was, um, when it, when tomorrow, when, what it, what's the date shit? Today is the 10th, so it was January 9th, that airing, that showing of Porsche's Family Matters on the 9th. So if y'all go and check it out, go please check it out, because ain't nobody talking about it. And I can't believe ain't nobody talking about it. Yes, honey. Um, what's the name? Simon got in his little stance and was sitting over there talking to um, Mama Elizabeth or Auntie Elizabeth. Jose Williams' daughter, y'all know who I'm talking about. Elizabeth. Oh, it's what we're going to call her. Okay, so he was like, getting her together in the most weirdest way. So, I'm like, y'all over here worried about Fallon and Jalen and, what's the name, Dennis. And Dennis dating his work and trying to put it all up in Portia's face. And who else he was arguing with? I don't know, anybody else that came against Simon. Just put all that to the side. Because right now, honey, he is worried about cussing out, putting down, putting in her place Miss Elizabeth, the matriarch over at the him or the headquarters of the Jose Williams franchise. I'm like, okay, where is a foamy? Or what's the name? Uh, yeah, a foamy? Uh, uh, a female? Her husband, meaning... Miss Auntie Liz Hus, where is he at? Because honey, baby, Simon was getting in her ass and the camera was rolling and I was like, did he just say what I thought he said? Because I think Miss Elizabeth was looking at him and she was smiling at one time and then when he said what he had to say about setting the fuck out of his business with Portia, her whole facial demeanor changed. I was like, hold up, wait a minute, let's get into this sugar a bit. Okay, I just I want to wait. Oh, 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 don't do me like that. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait seven days to come back and see this mess, okay? So, I was like, whoa, talking about lit, talking about throwing down facts, honey. It's just like Miss Elizabeth's face fell to the floor, and she was like picking up her face with her hands and putting her face back on her face. Because he had tore, he had 
disintegrated her face. It was like he had stabbed her in her chest unexpectedly. She wasn't expecting him to come out like that. Not the matriarch. Okay, not the torch that had been passed down. And he donated. Yes, he donated to the uh, Feed the Hungry Jose organization. Yeah, I'm sitting up there. I'm playing the game. Now he coming out like, what? And I didn't know um, Elizabeth was an actress. I know she was an activist. I know she had wrote a couple of uh, self-help books and, and spiritual books and stuff of that nature. But then I had to go back. She was in the movie with Cicely Tyson and Tyler Perry Productions on that, um, shoot, I don't forgot what it was, Homecoming. I don't know what it was, but if y'all go back, the one that Cicely Tyson played in is the matriarch of um, this uh, mama, um Mama Medea's uh, family reunion or something. I don't know what it was. But go back and check. Just Google Elizabeth, um, her last name. And then say Tyler Perry movie. And you'll probably find out the movie I was talking about. But honey, Simon going around on a whole retreat. Acting like, you know, the peacemaker. The, uh, the person with all the wisdom and stuff. But I knew something was going to come out of this situation because it was just too cool they were playing it too cool and miss elizabeth was throwing slide jabs at simon on the on the side because even in this last episode that they showed us she was saying to portia she wanted to see simon do a little bit more or protecting you you know or, or coming up and standing up for you than what he was doing I, maybe that got back to simon and simon was like uh uh-uh, um this 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 woman ain't finna come not even close to thinking she gonna get into my business and t- tell me how to conduct myself now i'm just assuming that portia took her loud ass mouth back and, and said well miss um miss her aunt olivia was not olivia elizabeth was talking about which i'm like Porsche, that woman don't like you why are you even saying anything from the time she came on the scene to the last episode that we were privy to see miss elizabeth doesn't seem any uh embracefulness or loving kindness of anything she looks like she really looks like she really looks like true like a parasite pretty much like how did we let your mother get into our family what was my brother thinking and look what type of spawn he's brought out into our generation i mean she was poor she was looking at you like he was a cursed child and you were sitting up there trying to play footsies with her and all this instead of checking her and saying if you and your organization and you know um uh, uh, your family because y'all never cared anything about me y'all never you know invited me y'all never put me out there and then you're gonna sit up here and say that i am not william's material I- i'm not ready for the goblet to be a goblet to be passed down to me and see that's what that we would have been turning that out y'all thought it would have been happening over in mexico we would have turned this shit out over here in atlanta Okay, and it would have been for everybody to see. Because everybody got a different perspective of Miss Elizabeth, I'm sure. Okay, she was trying to tell the spiritual leaders how they need to be doing stuff. You know, when things were falling apart, she going to have her little sidebar and be talking about, oh, you best get up there and lead. I'm like, who is, who is Elizabeth to be telling anything? She's supposed to be the activist. She's supposed to be to pull the people, the black people together. You know, why don't you get up there with all your oneness self and, and, and chime in and give us some spiritual thoughts here so we can get our spiritual minds together. That's what I would have told her. But you know, hey, that's what she was doing. I'm like, Diane, why did you want to marry in this family? Because obviously they didn't care for you or any offspring that you wanted to bring into the legacy. Because evidently they didn't like you from day one. Okay? And maybe they already knew that her brother was fooling around with other women too. And he just, they probably felt that he wasn't going to choose you. But... Lo and behold, you were the chosen one. And so, they pretty much probably had you like an outcast. Because I don't see you breaking your neck. Trying to go to events or openings and this, that, and the third. Heard you was around there missing this opening that happened last week. Like, where were you, Diane? Because you, you retired, baby. You ain't doing that out there unless it's philanthropy type work. You babysitting, remember? You taking care of the gang- grandkids. That's what Portia's saying over here. So I'm like, girl, 
If they didn't like you, Diane, you should have told them to kiss your dairy air, kick rocks, and you could have moved on, honey. You didn't have to sit up there and take all that mess from a so-called family that was putting their cells so high on the totem pole and looking down at the common folks as peasants. Because that's what Miss Elizabeth gives me and has given me ever since she stepped on the scene. Okay. She ain't nothing but about that dollar, 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 making her seem like her little non-profit organization that she, well, really her dad had found it and left it in charge for her to do. Because probably nobody else really wanted the headache, the frustration, and all of that. Because you even told Portia it was a headache. It was very frustrating trying to get this new building together, this, that, and the third. And then you were down low trying to milk her for money. Well, at least Portia caught on to that. She said, oh, yeah, I'm going to give you donations. It's going to be a nice donation. Just that. I would have said, uh, I'll see what I can do. Okay, that's what I would have said. I'll see what I can do. And not only did Miss Elizabeth sit up there talking about, yes, and I need some hors d'oeuvres. I need this. I need that. I'm like, damn, did you already print a list for her? Did you already print a list for her, Miss Elizabeth? Because it seems like you're just using Portia for what she has accomplished. Even though it's ratchetness, but it's still bringing in dollars. Still bringing in the dollars, no coins, bills. And you're using her for your benefit. But then on the other side of the coin, you're saying that her and her mother's side of the family are not William's material. Okay, because that's what you told Miss Gina. You thought I missed it, but I did hear all that commotion that was going on. I did hear you tell Miss Gina when Miss Gina said, see, that's why I ain't want to be in the Williams family. She said, no, baby, you talking about Portia's mama's side. The real Williamses don't get down like this. We don't we don't have none of this type of stuff. Yeah, she was just talking all out the side of her neck. And I'm like, oh, so, Portia, did you, elim- uh, you want to be like uh, your auntie? On your dad's side, by being an author, because it seems like you're trying to, well, you wrote a book, so we'll put you in the category of being an author, okay, in title name only, it's a vain uh, representation, but, you know, hey, you did write a book, so we're going to put you as an author, uh, you did activate some activism, a- advocacy out there with the Black Lives Movement, so I guess we can put you as an activist as well, and now actress, okay, Portia, for me to you go on the soap opera world that's where you will definitely be safer at but you're trying to be something out here saying you this way then you act that way it's just messing you up and right now you have went to the a-lister list of being likability in the public court of opinion you have just dissipated you you, you vanished in thin air you don't, you're not on the board anymore. People are talking about you so bad, girl. I ain't saying you can't come back from this situation. But I'm saying it's very bleak at this time. So you're really going to have to do some soul searching. Some career revamping. Probably get you another whole PR team. Unless the end result that we're seeing is what the end result you want it to be. Then congratulations. You solidified yourself as being the most hated woman on the road of 2022 okay because they are attacking you from so many different ways and yes the attacks could have been a little vicious at times but then again you can't tell a person how to react after you don't put a response out there you see what i'm saying you never know what's gonna come back at your doorstep so portia you kind of dug the grave for yourself you kind of made that bad bed for yourself you're gonna have to lay in it and um think about your next move baby but but my thing what i think you are extraordinary at is being a great actress okay you love manipulation and to me you would fit very well in the soap opera world i'm just saying because it seems like simon wants to be on tv or be a part of the red carpet world for some reason i don't know Maybe to get a whole new clientele of what he's trying to sell in Costa Rica. You get my drill? Or, I don't know. Okay? Because that's the only thing my mind keeps going to. Sales. Okay? And I ain't talking about accessories. And I ain't talking about clothes. Okay? But, uh, I just don't, I haven't figured out his end game. Because he, he he's not like a charismatic type man that you want to watch. He's not. 
Yeah, he's ugly. And then some photos, yeah, he is ugly. And I ain't gonna lie, cause he look like the gremlin. I don't care what none of y'all say. Some of his photos, he look like the gremlin. All right. But on other photos, he can, he's passable. He's not the beautiest, you know, he's not the handsomest man. But he ain't the ugliest man either. Unless he's in a certain light or a certain po posture on his face. Okay. So, you know. It is what it is. Okay. Just my thoughts. P people probably say I'm ugly as hell too. Don't matter. It's just what you think about yourself and what you answer to. That's what I say. But anyway. Uh, girl. Yes. He is after. He is after her. He is on the hunt for Elizabeth. So you said you don't like nobody coming for Storm. And you tried to allegedly put Dennis in jail over there in Mexico. When he snatched that, I'm guessing, front lace off of Storm's head. But from what I could see, what other people were seeing and saying in comments when I was on other people's YouTube channels and, and, and reading the comments and stuff to see how they were reacting to what they felt they saw last night on Fa uh, Portia's Family Matters, girl, Storm was just all in the middle. You could have been throwing plates at her head or scratching her up because she was just right there. In a place she shouldn't have been in. She was safe up against that wall. Did I tell her to come off that wall? And then we're going to hear you scream. He hit my cousin. He hit my family member. This, that, and third. Well, okay. What are you going to be saying? When you see the episode that I saw. If they air it. What are you going to tell Eeyore? Or Simon? About your Aunt Liz. And what and how he talked to her. About staying the fuck out of y'all business In those terms In that tone In that language What are you going to say to him about that Portia Because isn't she your family Isn't she the one that you really look up to That you look for advice from Which I don't know why Because she don't like you Portia That lady don't like you And it's sad that in some families We have people that don't even like their own Biological siblings Or their cousins or their aunts or their uncles yeah you do have dislike in your biological family all right but Simon ain't here for it he already done called and said and did everything negative towards uh Fallon and he done said what he had to say about Jalen he done said what he had to say about Dennis and all these people you had problems with. Okay. So now he has a problem with your aunt Elizabeth. On your daddy's side. What you going to do? What you going to say? How you going to prove? How you going to show and prove protection for your aunt. Against your so called boyfriend. Maybe fiance. Maybe husband one day. I don't know girl. We the people want to know over here. At the house, okay. We the people over here at the fam house at Dev Chanel Forty World. We want to know what you're gonna do about that, cause you ain't letting any else slide. You ain't let no other family members slide. You ain't let no other family member or friends or foes of the family slide when they upset it or got a hold of somebody you like that you cherished in your family. So what you gonna do with your uh, boyfriend? Hmm. Him telling your aunt to stay the fuck out of y'all business. What, what what you gonna say, Portia girl? What you gonna do? What you going to say? What you going to do? But y'all, that's all I had. I had to bring it to everybody's attention. Everybody's attention. Because everybody ain't talking about it. I don't understand. That's like an untold spoken rule or thing or something. What's going on? Because that's what I want to know. Because her face showed turned a different color. And her mouth looked like it dropped all the way down to the floor. And she was confused after he said what he said. Because she wasn't expecting it. He just came in TKO her huh, and left her for dead, honey. Left her for dead. But that's all I got, y'all. Hopefully, y'all like it. Love it. Gotta have more. But I will see y'all next video, okay? Bye-bye.